Hello, Internet. Hello, hello, John. hello Wisconsin. Um, and welcome to the happiest day in the Top Gear calendar, the day when I can say goodbye to James May, knowing that I don't have to see him again for another two months. No one is more pleased than me. Not that I'm not going to be seeing me. I'm going to see me quite regularly, but I don't have to see him. Yeah, this is the last day we record the series. Um, after this, we all go off and make our Christmas DVDs. I think it's been a reasonably good series. I think we've mixed and matched quite well. We've had some cocking about. We've had some serious car reviews. We have a serious car review today. Very serious car review. Yeah, we genuinely, in this, we do. James and I have done a, a joint one together um, on the electric cars. The situation is completely normal. <laughs> well, we've done that um, because it is quite an interesting subject, that. And then uh, there's a very touching film at the end of this week's show, um, which Hammond has done, um, which I urge you to watch. These guys are soldiers. They're men of action. They're used to having challenges, problems, obstacles to overcome by working together as a team. This isn't a treat. This is therapy. It's something they need to do if they're going to recover as well as they possibly can. It really is extremely good. Um, got the Lamborghini Aventador on the show. <laughs> it's uh, out on the track as we speak, setting a lap time, so we shall find out. We're also setting a lap time as promised. It's because it's not the, raining. Yeah, with the Lotus, the, what's it called? The T125. The T125 is also here, so we've got two laps in the show this week. And I think we're ending up on one of those shows that people who like bits and bobs, you know, there really is no cocking about, absolutely none at all in this week's show. No, actually, it's completely cock about free. What? What? Are you sure? So we just to show that we do read the comments yeah. um, made uh, we ignore the criticism, obviously, and just and we masticate over the good ones. Like, look at shuffling the wheel. Look at me masticating over. It's one of the best Top Gear episodes ever. Oh, that's mm. nice. Yeah. Well done, boys. You finally beat Jazz. I'm not reading that one. Have you noticed how the positive ones are a lot shorter? Yes. Than the negative ones. Very disappointed in the Clarkson. Then the drive oh, hard. Disappointed. Yeah, so anyway, this week's show, um, we have, uh, following the excitement of the 600 horsepower Mustang racing across Europe, the Bugatti and all the other exciting cars, the Viper and the LFA and the Aston Martin, yeah. this week we have a Kia C apostrophe D, a very, very long, thorough road test of that. It takes about actually 25 it's minutes. Big. Well done, man. Well done. I'm loving your play. Yes! Yes! And we also have a road test, uh, a comparison test between a Ford Focus, a Vauxhall Astra, and a Renault McGann. There are, yes, that's what we've got this week. And our guest, of course, is, uh, a, 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 well, it's, it's Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> Is it, is it he's got a carpet shop, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a carpet shop in Hertfordshire. So, um, that's this week's show, and now the three of us are going to go out on the track and drive the Vauxhall Astra, the Ford Focus and the McGann. Renault Megane, because we're interested in them. We are back. We're back. And we're not, back. We're, we're on the internet, but we are not on television just yet. However, the news is good, because... We are going to be appearing live. It's come and see us at the NEC in Birmingham between the 11th and the 13th of November, or at uh, London Excel between the 
24th and 27th of November. Correct. That's when we're going to be there. That's when we're back. And I'm delighted to say we have an entirely new show. I mean, we have a new show every year, but this one is particularly new because for the first time ever, we've been able to incorporate um, speed into it. In the past, we've been constrained by having a very small area to play with, to get seats in there. Well, now we've got a much bigger area. I mean, only eight people can come. That's the drawback. Yeah, but it does mean you have a whole circuit. Whereas previously, we had to put on a car show where you would normally see maybe King Lear or Les Miserables. But now we've got a big area. with an in It's an indoor track, isn't it? In essence, basically. it's an indoor track, which means that we've got drag strips and what have you. You'll be able to really get some speed up, which, of course, increases the chance of an accident. And let's be honest, shall we, that's really why you go to motoring events, not to see people holding cars in perfect four-wheel drifts. And that's why we've introduced speed, so that more walls are hit. It isn't just a motor show with our little stunt show tagged on. This is just Top Gear Live. I mean, even the studio we have yes. in the middle of the actual arena is a faithful replica of our studio in Surrey that you see on the television. Completely so, the cool, so you can <coughs> nick, the, nick the boards like everybody else does. really annoying. Yeah, you can come down and readjust the cool wall board, yeah, but we've got the... It's funny. It's really funny when you do that. It is it is like coming to a recording of Top Gear. It's, the only difference is that when you go home, you don't see the edited version on television on a Sunday night with all the edited out. So we will be putting a star in a reasonably priced car at each show, and they'll be seeing how fast they can get round the indoor track that we've built. I don't think any of us get nervous. In fact, I know we don't get nervous except a little bit in Australia sometimes, because Australian car enthusiasts are huge and wear vests. Mm. Um, I mean, if you're watching this in Australia, you'll go, you'll, you'll go oh, I am. And they, ah, oh, Mike's laugh, you pommy bastards. Uh, there's that kind of, we have to work damn hard in Australia. Yeah. It's a bit like, I suppose it's the, the car theatre equivalent of being in a Western with a man shooting at your feet saying dance. Yeah. Or will kill you, yeah. sort of thing. So Australia's, you do, you have to get yourself really up before you go out. The state we're in the, this morning wouldn't do. I don't have any memories of Top Gear Live at all, really. Generally, most of them have faded and been sort of thoroughly rinsed away. There's a particularly fond memory I have of James and I at, at a show in South Africa last year. Bent over what? The back of a sofa. I don't remember the, this. Oh, with yes, our trousers around our ankles, while. Two nurses administer the cure. The cure for our self-inflicted illness. We're not talking about a ritual flogging. But there's a great, uh, there's a photograph which Richard Hammond owns, worth a considerable sum of money, of James actually biting a pillow as the enormous milk bottle-sized needle is inserted into his left buttock. The only reason Richard Hammond is still on top here, unfortunately, <laughs> is because he has this picture of me and Jeremy <laughs> being injected by the quite nice actually, nurse. Actually, there were two the nurses. Hmm. The Stig will be in it. Oh, but make no mistake about that. Yeah, he's, he's going to be there. We'll give him all the dangerous stuff to do because he doesn't seem to mind um, so long as we just give him some mints. Um, that's good. You know, yeah. The Stig will be there. Hammond will be there. He's not here, obviously, now because he's at his country castle, isn't he? Yes, it's a long way for him to come. He lives in Wales, which is his own silly fault. He has, um, to, he has to get here all the way from about 1650 in order, <laughs> and it's just too difficult. So we can make it because we live in London because we're wise. We've got quite a complicated few months coming up because, as is our usual way, we haven't filmed a single thing for the next series, which starts in January. And obviously we have the Christmas special, which will be going out over the Christmas period as well. And we've got the Top Gear Live dates to do in London and Birmingham. So that occupies eight days, nine days, ten days. In the next few months, well, pretty well all of us, but me certainly, I've got to go to China, India, Sweden... Italy, Australia, and Birmingham. The Top Gear special is in India. We're going um, across India in some cars. You'll hopefully enjoy that. And then China, we're going to have a look at the Chinese motor industry and where it's got to now. We're going to do some ice racing in Sweden, across Italy in three supercars. If you work at Heathrow, you'll be seeing a lot of us. The one thing I'm really looking forward to in Top Gear Live this time is not just a stunt where you think, wow, that's clever or beautiful or interesting, but actually, God, that was fast. Yeah. I mean, I want to see a car going at 80 miles an hour that far away from a wall uh, with the Stig apparently not concentrating. I mean, that, that should be... Because normally when you go to motor racing events, certainly in Britain, it's cold, grey, little bit of drizzle in the air. Bad smell of second-hand chip. Oh, just an appalling food. Whereas 
here, and you have to stand up almost yeah. always. Here, you can sit down and watch the cars you really want to watch, not some Rover 200 with slick tyres. But, I mean, c interesting cars, Ferraris. And we've got a big parade of Ferraris. Yeah, we've got some fantastic. But cars you really want to see actually going fast. God, I've got a bad hangover. I'm not, I'm not too good myself. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show that um, we put out on Sunday and I'm going to let you into a little secret. We didn't know the series was starting then. Genuinely, I thought it started in July and I thought we were still in May. And then somebody said, oh, I'll see you on Wednesday at the studio. And I had no idea, absolute hand on heart, the series was starting. None at all. And nobody did. And we haven't really filmed anything. No. I, I'm, we're not joking. No, we're not making that up. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a classic case of, are you ready for what? <laughs> we haven't, because it's like, a load of blokes all sitting around going, ah, it'll be fine, plenty of time, plenty of time. Suddenly there's no time at all. And we really genuinely, normally we have all the films made before the series starts. It's on like this homework, isn't it? Yeah. It's homework. On this occasion, we, we simply haven't done it. So Mondays are doing the voiceover for the films we haven't made. Tuesdays right in the studio stuff. Wednesday we come to the studio. Thursday I go and get on with my other jobs and your other jobs. This time... We have the, to. The dog ate it, didn't it? <laughs> or it fell in the back of the piano, or whatever happens to your homework. It is really weird, and somebody's forgot to tell Richard Hammond that we're even here because it's not. Oh, Hammond! I better ring him up. Hang on. <laughs> no, he, no, he isn't there. There's somebody there who looks like Richard Hammond, but who actually isn't. It does look like Richard. It does Hammond. look like Richard Hammond. Hang on a minute. But would he do, he'd do actually as Richard Hammond, wouldn't he? Would it be under C? For Why don't we just get him? No, 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 no. We'll get him in because he looks. Excuse me. Here comes Richard Hammond now. Yeah, I don't need to bring Richard Hammond now. No, he's here. Yeah, that's Richard. All right, Richard. Richard. If you just stand there, just to pretend it's Richard Hammond. Just so I don't have to say anything. Just stand, no, stand like there. Just there stand. we go. So, um, yeah, he's not standing. Right. No, you stand like this. Richard always does this with his knees. Side on to the Is side it? on, makes it look taller. Side on, and then roll, roll back. Thin your eyes, one eyebrow slightly higher than the other. Look slightly quizzical. Yeah. Because yeah. if you don't that's quite the, understand what's going on, that's pretty That's good. perfect. Yeah. So you just stand there looking like that. <laughs> anyway, um, we, we do hope you enjoy the rest of the series. And um, there, is one. there are many, many surprises in it for, for us. As many much for as us. You. Yeah, yes. <laughs> for us as well as you. Um, we do know that next week we have a remarkable film where we took three little hot hatchbacks and we drove up the Italian Riviera and then Bernie Eccleston, for reasons that aren't entirely, entirely clear, allowed us to drive around the Monaco Grand Prix track with all the marshals, I mean, closed, crowds, marshals, everything, which was one of the highlights of my entire professional career. Which is actually career. one of the best films we've ever made, yeah. at least we thought it was. Well, we enjoyed making it more yeah. than almost anything else. Um, we've got cars we've got coming up in the series. Um, Aston. Lam Aston Virage, Lamborghini Aventador. Aventador. Not filmed yet, either of no. them. Um, BMW 1M. Oh, no, we've just we've seen just that. Done that. Um, yeah. What else have we filmed? Well, how we filmed? Uh, electric cars. Oh, yes, yes, we went to Lincoln. Yep. Um, that's all we've done. Yeah, that's it. And you actually think we're joking. You actually think, oh, rubbish, they'll have a whole vault where all the films will have been done, they'll have been worked. We haven't. We did have an idea about improving public transport kicking around. Oh, no, we did, no, we did, we did, we did, 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 we made a train. Oh, we've done that, haven't yes, we? Yes, we did, yeah, we, we did. made a train. In fact, it turns out we've got, yeah, we, we're ready. We've got enough for three weeks. We're ready. So we, that's it, no, you can see that's it. You see, it that makes you look tall. Oh, no, that one, that one, that's it. That's it, that's lovely. And uh, there we are. So, Richard. Have we got any good guests? Guests, yes. Man. Rich, yes, we've got many guests. Yeah, they're loads. They're all booked, uh, and they're all desperate to come down here and see if they can go faster than John Bishop. Um, we might even go who are they? Who they are. Um, uh, no, Simon Cowell's coming yes, back. Simon Cowell. Same thing. I'll give you a bit of an exclusive. I don't think he's ever done a chat show before, this chap, ever in his entire life. Rowan, Atkin Lama. Rowan Atkinson. Is he? Rowan has agreed to come on. So that's amazingly good news. Um, and then we'll have to wait and see. He likes his cars as well. He does like he? his cars, yes. Yeah. So, no, we hope you enjoy the rest of the series. Um, and we'll see you next Sunday. Hopefully. All right, Richard. Just clean my shoes. I think I prefer this to have. I do. He's quieter, <laughs> isn't he? Much better.